Aston Villa there in the <coughs> second half trying everything. So often, Robbie Earl, it is the case when you yeah. play against 10 men, it's even harder sometimes to get through. But yeah. that's a, not a lot of excuses for Aston Villa after that. No, that, that's going to be disappointment, Rebecca. And, and I get the disappointment that Villa fans will have because when I look through the team, certainly in the attacking areas of the pitch, the quality of, pl of player that they've got, the, the attacking threat that they've got, they should be scoring more goals. They got a scruffy 1-0 win against Southampton and, and, and Stevie said, you know, it's good to win ugly. That 0-0 draw, it almost must, must feel like a defeat. You know, that second half, down to 10 men lead for, for virtually the whole second half. The manager up, it, up in the commentary box says he can't be down there for losing. I mean, it was a great opportunity for Villa to get a couple of goals and three points and... Stephen Gerrard, I think, has, has got some work to do because his team still aren't grooved in their possession play and their build-up play to create enough chances. Under the circumstances, Jesse Marshall will be happy under the circumstances yep. of getting a point at home now, down to ten men. But what do you think Stephen Gerrard needs to work on most? Well, I think, tactically, he could have influenced that game more to ask more questions. Ollie Watkins had a great chance, actually, both in the first mm. half and the second half to score. And you see Gerrard getting really frustrated there. OK, but I didn't see enough attempts of overloading, like on one side and throwing people forward. I thought Ings should have come on 15, 20 minutes earlier to have two players up front. It's these little decisions as a, as a manager that that's what you get paid for. OK, 10 men, Leeds have gone 5-3-1. That's good from them, but we can maybe expose the wing-backs and play two against and try and get us an advantage. I, I just think he's got to get learn to be a little bit more dynamic in his coaching to influence things a little bit more. I mean, Rob's right. I mean, only two, two teams have scored fewer goals than Aston Villa. Given the money, given the attack and flair they've got, he's got to do better. Yeah, six goals in those eight games. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. For even more Premier League content from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you over there.